In this video, I'm gonna share with you guys how hard it is to play Major League Baseball. And I'm gonna show you basically level by level the breakdown of how hard it really gets. So if you're not putting in the work, don't expect to reach the highest level. So I'm actually gonna transition over here now to a little freeform board. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of an understanding of how this whole thing works. So it's gonna be something that maybe will just open your eyes at the end of the day. We'll start to understand how much hard work it really goes into it. So, you know, up here we have Little League. Little League, we have a lot of baseball players. Obviously, there's gonna be a lot more Little Leaguers than we have of high schoolers, right? So, high school. From there, the, the common route for a lot of these baseball players after high school baseball is to play college baseball. Obviously, there's various different levels of college baseball being D1, 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 D2, D3, NAIA, and also JUCO. So from there, we're going to actually split this down into a few levels. So we got, we got D1 over here. Oh, that's not D1. D1. Next up, we have D2. We got D3. And the rest, we'll just basically put NAIA slash JUCO. All right, so that's a pretty common path for a lot of uh, college baseball players is uh, either D1, D2, D3, or NAIA. Guys, I know a lot of people always love to ask me the question, can you go pro if you go JUCO? Can you go pro if you, you know, go D3? Yes, absolutely, guys, absolutely you can. Um, there's not a doubt in my mind you can play professional baseball. I had a teammate just last year in AAA who, was, uh, who played at a D3 college in Wisconsin, so it's very, very possible. All right, from now, now we have pro, but we're gonna split this up into rookie ball. We're gonna split it up next level. Obviously, you can tell it just keeps getting harder and harder. Rookie ball, we have A ball. After that, we have high A. Obviously, you guys have heard about professional baseball being a huge ladder that you have to climb up. It's very, very hard, guys. It's very hard. There's so many levels that you have to go through to ultimately reach your goals, right? We have triple A next. And then finally, everyone everyone's dream to play in the big leagues right so this is what we're looking at this is how hard it is to really play professional baseball and also major league baseball so in the show right so a lot of little leaguers play this game and i'm going to give you guys a little bit of a hint the wider that these columns are the more players are going to be playing in each level all right so i'm going to move this over just a little bit now i'm going to tell you guys how many Baseball players are playing at every single one of these levels. So I'm going to actually do a new color just so we can keep this consistent. Let's do red. Uh, let's do let's do orange, all right? The orange is going to be the number of players at each level, all right, guys? So Little League, you ready for this? All right. 2.6 million players are playing Little League Baseball, guys. Obviously, there's a ton of them, right? Guess what? Now, there's even less that play high school baseball. I have to check my notes. Nope. 450,000 players. So, obviously, there's a huge drop-off, right? Sometimes the parents get into the, the player's ear. Maybe they lose the passion for the game. Maybe they realize the work is just too hard, right? So next level is college. I'm going to do a little bit of a breakdown here because I want you guys to understand how hard it is to really play D1 baseball. So there's only 64,000 college baseball players, but I'm going to go a step even further. In D1, there's only 12,000 baseball players. 12,000. That's it. D2. I believe there are 11,000 baseball players. 
D3 level, 15,000 baseball player. And basically the rest between NAIA is um, the rest. I, I don't know, 64 basically divided, or what we got, 64, 54, 30, whatever that is. It might be 15,000, somewhere around that. Anyway, so from the 64,000, how many get to play professional baseball? So I'm going to actually just put this over here for the time being because I'm going to sum them all up. But rookie ball, all right? How many players are playing rookie ball? Well, let's, let's talk about the roster limits, all right? So we're actually going to make this pink. Over here, we're gonna put the roster limit for each level. So there's a 35 player roster limit, okay? So since there's 35 players allowed to be in rookie ball for each team, each organization, we just basically do 35 times 30 organizations in the big leagues, or the 30 professional baseball organizations. Um, sometimes I might refer to um, affiliated ball. That's basically affiliated means that it's affiliated with an MLB organization. So minor league baseball is affiliated with major league baseball. Sometimes one thing that I did not include in here is independent leagues, um, Savannah, Savannah Bananas and things like that. I excluded out from this list because this is your path to major league baseball, all right? Uh, this is a very common path for a lot of baseball players, myself included. So rookie ball, we're looking at only just over a thousand players get to play the rookie ball level. All right. And this is at any given time. Low A, we have a 30 player limit. All right. Which means 900 players get to play low A professional baseball. Same thing. 30, 30 man roster limit at the high A level. Double A now, even less, 28. A 28 man roster in double A and triple A. So there's only 840 people in the world that get to play double A, 840 players that get to play triple A. And before we get into the big league number, to sum up all of this, so basically to sum up all of professional baseball, all of, or I guess, sorry, minor league baseball to sum it all up, we're looking at only 4,530 baseball players in the world that get to play minor league baseball, all right? And then now the craziest thing is the big leagues. So obviously the big leagues, there's only 26 man roster, and that means that there are only 780 players that can consider themselves big league baseball players. This is the highest level of baseball, obviously. And then there are also subcategories of how many players have become all-stars, how many of players you know, have been able to reach the Hall of Fame. There are levels to it, guys. So understand you're probably right here at this high school level. There's 400. 49,999 other baseball players just like you that want to play at this next level, right? Whether it's D1, D2, D3, NAIA, or JUCO, there's only going to be 64% of you. So this is something that I also want to kind of just paint the picture of. And this isn't to like crush your dreams. I want this to motivate you and make you understand how hard it is to truly work. So uh, to get to the, you know, the next level uh, for it to work. Sorry. So we're going to go from level to level. So we're going to talk percentages now. So we're going to talk about it. It's slim, guys. It's slim. And it's not impossible. I want this to be very, very clear. This is not impossible. I've been able to play Little League Baseball. I've been able to play high school baseball. I was one of the 12,000 players in the world at a given time that played D1 Baseball. I actually skipped rookie ball, went to A ball, moved up to high A, moved up to double A, and I've had three years of experience at the triple A level. I've been, been able to play alongside these MLB superstars in spring training, been able to be invited to a big league spring training before. I have not made my debut in the big leagues yet, but hopefully that day will come. So now we're going to talk about the percentages from one level to another. So 
uh, we'll actually change that to purple. All right, so this is gonna be percentaged um, going down from one to another. So what we can actually do is open up the calculator real quick. And what we can do here is basically divide this number by that number. Oh no, I lost it. All right, so 450,000 divided by 2600000. Multiply about that by 100, that's gonna give you the percentage. 17.3%, that's gonna be kind of hard to read. Let's change that to white, nope. 17% of players get to play high school baseball coming from Little League, all right? So now let's take it to another level. We're gonna do 64, now 64,000 divided by 450, 14% now. 14, get to play in college, all right? So this is uh, probably a little bit not accurate today because the the data source that i was looking at was from a few years ago where the transfer portal really wasn't a thing so the transfer portal obviously is impacting high school seniors high school juniors because it's going to be that much harder to make it to college there's going to be other guys from juco from other d1 baseball programs that are in the portal that have already shown proven success at the college level this is just making your son or you as the player that much more challenging to actually reach the college levels so 14 percent get to play in college but how many get to play in professional baseball so next thing's up 64,000 divided oh sorry 4530 divided by 64,000. Ooh, that's only 7%. It's getting smaller, it's getting smaller, all right? And then from those 7%, now we do, and this is gonna be probably one of the higher percentages, but 780 divided by 4530, that's gonna be 17%. So guys, as you can see, each level, it just gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. So what is the difference between a Little League baseball player and a high school baseball player? Well, more than likely, that's the starting foundation of having a passion for the game of baseball. Obviously, you have to have a passion for the game of baseball. If you don't have that passion, you're probably going to drop off, right? And you're probably going to be the 83% of people that don't get to play in high school baseball, right? So that's a better way to almost look at it. 83% of players don't get to play high school baseball. That's crazy. That's a huge number. 83% of little leaguers do not get to play in high school. I can repeat that on and on and on because that's a mind boggling number. But if you think about it, you are more than likely in high school and you have the desire of playing in college. Guess what? There's gonna be, what is that? 86 percent of you high school baseball players will never see a college field all right so there's only 14 percent of you that get to play on you know the next level on you get to graduate right we're all looking to graduate high school graduate middle school graduate college right but are we looking to graduate to the next level of our baseball development our baseball skills are we able to actually reach that next level of competition development instruction even all right so these college baseball programs, they have one job and it's to win baseball games. So you have to really understand they're not gonna just let anyone through their doors and start learning from the best coaches in the country. A program like LSU is probably gonna get hundreds if not thousands of emails from these 450,000 kids that think they're good enough to not only play at the D1 level, but to play at one of the best programs in the country at LSU, which they can only hold around 35 players on their roster. All right. So now you, you start to understand that you have to be conscious when you're emailing these college coaches because of how much volume these college coaches are seeing in emails, right? If we go down from college ball, who's there's 64,000, you know, obviously of the 12,000, there's going to be a good chunk of this 12,000 coming into this 4,000 but only 7%. If you get to college baseball, there's a 93% chance you will not get to play professional baseball, which is a crazy number again, 
But guess what, guys? This is to put it into perspective on how hard you truly have to work and to learn from someone as experienced as I am where I've been able to play at this level, guys. The AAA level for over three years, I've been able to play alongside guys like Paul Goldschmidt, Nolan Arenado, uh, Yadier Molina, Fernando Tatis Jr., Manny Machado, Xander Bogarts, the list goes on and on because I've been able to play this game for a long, long time, seven plus years in professional baseball, three years at NC State University. Guys, I have a ton of experience where I want to share that with you. Be your coach, be your mentor, and guide you through this process of getting recruited to play college baseball being in your corner and helping you out along this process because that is gonna fulfill me and make me uh, very, very happy to see you guys realize your dreams that you're you know, graduating on to play at the next level. Guys, my name is Evan Mendoza, founder of Mendoza Baseball Academy. If you are interested in applying to work directly one-on-one -on -one with me, go ahead, down below in the description, you'll see a link to apply. Go ahead and click that link go ahead and also watch that YouTube video that's attached to that video. And then you can apply. It's a quick little questionnaire. And from there, you can actually book a call with me. So go ahead, apply, book a call with me, get this process started. I'm also going to include what a player call looks like right here, because I think it's very, very informative to understand what to expect on these player calls. They're very short, they're very sweet. And then that way we can get the process going. You yeah, yeah. How you doing, man? How are you doing? You you're doing good? Good. Yeah. No complaints, man. No complaints. Thank you for taking this call, man. Where uh, where are you calling from? What state are you from? Okay, San Antonio. Okay, cool. You go to a lot of missions games? Yeah. Cool, man. I don't know if you know about like my career, but I was there last year, early in, in the year. Unfortunately, I got hurt, so I only played like 10 games there. But um, yeah, dude, I love San Antonio. There was a ton of great food. I loved, uh, what was it called? The Riverwalk downtown? It, yeah, it's nice. It's beautiful. It's a nice, it's a nice town, man. I'm down in uh, uh, West Palm Beach, Florida. Um, you know, we've got some really good weather today, so no complaints though, but we can get this, you know, call kicked off and started. Um, you know, really, I'm just going to be asking you a few questions, you know, see where you're currently at in your baseball career and see what your goals are. And then, you know, last but not least, I'll see if I can actually truly help you and what those next steps would be. So, uh, just to kick things off, what year are you in, in high school? Sophomore? Okay, cool. That's right in the middle of the pack. A lot of the students in inside my academy are either like freshmen, sophomores, or juniors, but I'd say the most of them are sophomores. So, you know, this is definitely the right time to start taking the game a little bit more seriously, developing out your skills, using the right guidance, um, the right program. So, um, tell me a little bit more about like what positions do you play? Okay, so a little bit all over the place. That's good, man. The, the versatility is something that you know, always you should have in the back of your pocket. It's gonna, it's gonna definitely give you opportunities to continue to play uh, past high school, that's for sure. So, um, you know, as far as, uh, you know, you look at yourself in the mirror, you know, what can you say that you bring to your team that you're playing on, whether that's high school, travel, um, you know, what kind of player are you besides, you know, just what whatever position you're, you're playing? That's good, man. That's good. I, you know, you, you, there's there's definitely a ton of value in having a, a team player that can lift up everyone else around them. Um, that those are valuable, um, you know, pillars almost to a team dynamic um, inside the, the clubhouse. Right. That's you know later down when you do have a clubhouse. Obviously, high school baseball. It's more of just inside the dugout. You know, if you're able to lift up those other people around you, which is huge. So, um, as far as goals go. You know, where do you think baseball could take you? That's good, man. Yeah, it's definitely, it's not impossible. You know that. I know that. It's not impossible. I think a lot of people like to uh, diminish the dreams of others, right? So some, some people know that it's impossible maybe for them. But at the end of the day, if you work hard at anything that you do in life, in baseball, uh, you know, it's definitely possible. So, um, you know, hopefully, um, you know, I guess first things first, you know, I definitely feel like I can help you. I can, you know, tell in the in the tone of your voice that you have this, you know, passion and desire uh, for the game of baseball. And, you know, you have to be dedicated at the end of the day. It's not, you know, super easy. If it was easy, everyone would do it. But, you know, I do believe it's pretty simple. So um, I do believe I can help you. The, the next steps are really just to involve your parents. Uh, they have to have kind of a say inside joining into my academy. So what's going to happen in... Um, about 10 minutes or so. Um, I think we started a couple day, uh, a couple minutes early for our call, but I think at 6.45 Eastern time, um, which is technically like the conclusion of our 
of our uh, meeting, and there's gonna be an automatic text message sent to you. Have you been receiving those automatic texts? Cool, man. So it's gonna come through the same number. It's basically gonna have a link and the instructions are gonna to be to share it over to your parents. The best route to go uh, about this is really to watch that video alongside them. It's gonna be the same YouTube video that's in the link in my bio, but it's gonna be a little bit more guided to your parents. So have them watch that video alongside you. That way you can answer any questions they might have immediately. And then if they feel like it's you know valuable and uh, they wanna take the next steps, have them book a call directly with me, which you know with that link, there's gonna be a, a button underneath that says book a call. Just make sure that they are the ones that fills out that, that call sheet. The, the questions, the time, the date, it's very similar to the, the questionnaire that you filled out where you select a date, select a time, super easy. But just make sure that they're doing it. So since it's a parent call, the parent is required. You're not necessarily required on that call. You can join us if you want but um, just ensure that your parents are the ones that fill that out um, to basically take those next steps. And you know, from there, you know, we can get you started inside my academy. I will say though, because a lot of you know, players that I'm talking to, I've, I've had probably a good 15, 20 calls in the past like two or three days. There's been a lot of players applying into my academy. There's been a ton of people taking player calls just like you. you know, some players drag their feet and don't share this with their parents for a week or so. So um, I guess my biggest you know, question for you, is this something that you would definitely present over to your parents and you know, show some excitement? Uh, yeah. Awesome, man. Yeah, so, so one thing I'll say, just don't drag your feet because you know, at the beginning of the month, I was trying to work with just five baseball players uh, that are in high school. Um, you know, basically players just like you that I'm, you know, I feel confident that I can actually help you out. Um, you know, so far, you know, it's the 12th of the month and four spots have already been taken up. So really, I'm just looking for that one last um, student to join into my program. And the reason for that is I don't want to open up the floodgates and so many people, so many students are joining into my program where I become overwhelmed. And I'm also not able to deliver the, the highest um, uh, guidance uh, ability to my existing students. Does that make sense? So like if you were currently in my academy and you just saw that 100 kids just signed up yesterday, you'd be like, oh, what about me? And what if I can't answer your, your DMs and I'm just not able to provide this? That's the reason why I kind of just like pace it out. So, you know, we're looking at just one more spot. For example, some players, you know, will literally show the video, show the link over to your parents or to their parents, I should say, immediately after we hop off of this call, right? And they'll have their parents book a call like that and for tomorrow. Um, and then you could technically be signed up um, sometime tomorrow, you know, after I speak with your parents. So uh, it really just depends on how quickly you want to get after it. But um, right now I'm just looking at one more spot available inside my academy. And then, um, yeah, so, you know, I've got some, you know, parent calls already lined up. So, um, you know, just, just, I'd say, you know, share this over with your parents sometime tonight, if that makes sense with you guys. Cool, man. Do you have any last questions for me? Well, that just about wraps everything up, guys. You know what to expect as far as what is ahead of you, right? And this isn't supposed to crush your dreams. If anything, it's supposed to inspire your dreams to be part of that less than 1%, a fraction of 1%ers that get to play in the big leagues and beyond and just showcase to the world how great of a baseball player you are to be able to graduate level up and develop out your skills guys i can be in your corner assisting you through this process you really have two options here you can do things your own way and i'm not you know necessarily sure that you'll be able to do everything the right way right like the first time i get that i was a high school baseball player myself i always was hard-headed i thought i could do things the right way and the matter of the fact is i could have very much used a gps guys you guys have probably heard it before but if you get into a car without a gps and you try to go everywhere you're gonna make wrong turns along the way i am gonna be in your corner to help you guide you through that process so if you want to work directly with me again down below you can apply to get started